Now see in this example, a man weighing 60 kg runs along the rails with a velocity of 18 km per hour and jumps into a car of mass 1 quintal standing on the rails. Calculate the velocity with which the car will start travelling along the rails. Now see a rail is a, a car is standing on the rails, it means its initial velocity is 0. So velocity or initial velocity of car is 0. A man is running with the speed 18 km per hour that is initial speed of the man. So we can write V1 is equal to initial speed of man that is 18 km per hour that we can change into SI unit. So 18 into 1000 divided by 60 into 60 meter per second is equal to 5 meter per second. M1 is mass of the man that is 60 kg. V2 is velocity of car is 0. When man jump into the car, car and man both start moving together and then velocity will be V that has to be calculated. See here, there is no external force, there is a system of the man and the car. So, t total initial momentum is equal to total final momentum. So, we can write m1 plus m2 into v is equal to total final momentum. Total initial momentum is m1 v1 plus m2 v2, but v2 is 0, so this is 0. So, we can write v is equal to m1 v1 upon m1 plus m2 that is 60 into 5 divided by here m1 is 60 plus m2 was 1 quintal that is 1 quintal that is 100 kg. So, here we can write this and when you solve it you will be getting around 1.88 meter per second. So, this is the velocity of the man and car. Now, see in this question a 10 gram bullet is shot from a 5 kg gun. So, we can take m1 is mass of bullet that is equal to 10 gram is equal to 10 upon 1000 kg that is 0 0.01 kg. m2 is mass of gun that is equal to 5 kg. V1 is velocity of gun, velo velocity of bullet that is 400 meter per second. So, this is velocity of bullet and then V2 is required velocity of gun which we have to calculate. According to conservation of linear momentum we can write m1 Vn plus m2 V2 is equal to 0. So, V2 is equal to minus M1 V1 upon M2 that is minus M1 is uh, 0 0.01 into 400 divided by M2 is 5 meter per second. This is 5 eta that is this and now we can write here V2 is equal to in this case here minus 0 0.8 meter per second. This is the required velocity of the gun.